all, Will Healy here, and I'm at FabTech Canada. We had a really great week with the uh, SME. I'm in the SME booth this week, and with the PMA, with the Precision Metal Forming Association. I saw so many cool technologies from uh, press brakes. I saw a cobot doing machine tanning on a press brake, which is really challenging. Uh, I saw 3D scanning, got to have my, my face scanned. That was pretty cool. And then, um, you know, I saw lots of robotics and, and cobotics at the show. Uh, I was able to present for the PMA five steps to operational excellent in the press shop you know we talked about dye protection and connectivity smart technology and then the culture in the plants and then how do we implement um, really operational excellence inside a press shop next uh, I saw an awesome uh, panel called streamline cybersecurity and uh, man it was with Leah and Jay and Jeremy and Josh and Steve and uh, I just really um, thought this was an interesting panel I, I you know uh, Leah shared, uh, you know, small to mid-sized manufacturers think they're safe because they're small and mid-sized, but they are actually the target. Ransomware is a business, and I just thought that was really powerful because, you know, small to mid-sized think we're safe, but we're the target of ransomware attacks. You know, we have to we have to focus on the people. They're our biggest asset when we're trying to do cybersecurity. We have to provide training. We have to empower people to speak up and not hide problems. And we really have to employ a blameless culture, you know, across the company, not just just, uh, you know, cybersecurity is not just really for DevOps anymore, it's really for every person in the organization. And then uh, I, I got to present with uh, Brenda and Jonathan and Casey at the Smart Manufacturing Boot Camp today. And we talked about engaging with the workers, we talked about people, process, technology in that order, and we really talked a lot about people-centric technology and ways to gain insights from the equipment we already have and gain insights from our workers and interface with our workers and talk to our workers and build a good culture where the workers are the business. Um, and then, last but not least, I saw a really powerful panel uh, called Changing the Gear Ratio, Women in the Automotive Industry, and uh, these ladies were, were brilliant. I mean, really, they shared such great insights, um, you know, about manufacturing, and they, they shared how can manufacturers engage with more diversity and more women in manufacturing, and they suggested, you know, work on your job descriptions, make them more realistic to the actual jobs. They uh, suggested, you know, accepting that new people always need training. So, so don't expect someone to have a perfect fit every time. And then make sure you're getting involved in your local trade school and you're supporting them and being on their industrial advisory panel. And then make sure you're using social media to engage outside your, your normal circle and reach with your social media outside your normal circle. Um, and then uh, last but not least, I really have to thank Rachel, Isla, Pete, Marianne, Everyone who made it possible for me to, to be a part of Baptech Canada really enjoyed networking with everyone uh, that I met with, uh, new and old, and uh, really had a great time at Fabtech Canada. Really looking forward to Fabtech Atlanta and all the presentations and things going on there. So, until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next? <laughs>